Good day, watchers. Welcome to Perth Watch, your horology channel broadcasting from right here in Perth, Western Australia. Today, I have the pleasure to feature a piece from a company I haven't reviewed before, Charlie Paris. So thank you for them for reaching out and providing this piece for today's review. Uh, now, Charlie Paris has been around for a number of years. I think they debuted about 2014 and they have a number of watches in their catalogue. To be honest, uh, some of the pieces, uh, you know, quad stress pieces weren't really the type that grabbed my attention. But this watch that I have today, uh, this stood out a little bit. So I'm glad to be able to feature it. Uh, it comes in uh, this particular uh, watch box. So without further ado, guys, let's flip it around and take a closer look at what's in here. All right, guys, so here we have the package on the table here. Before we get into that, I'm uh, just going to show you some of the documentation, which of course, uh, or understandably, is mainly in French at the start and then English uh, comes in at the second half. This is a multi caliber module uh, manual, so the Concordia, really, which is what the watch is uh, in the box here, is uh, you know starting here uh, on page 25 here, okay? And then really everything else is the uh, different watches. So not going to talk about this. There is uh, some instructions on the quick exchange or, or quick release uh, straps that they have. Uh, there is a guarantee card and then a nice little welcome note, uh, which is uh, signed by one of the team members. Uh, and then just additionally, I've uh, requested uh, that they send a leather strap to go with uh, the strap that uh, the watch comes in. So I'm going to kind of tell you about this as well. Quick release, genuine leather, which is nice. Right, packaging. So this box is a little bit of friction there. Average spinability, probably three out of five because of some of the grip that it has. And then you take out the sleeve, you have this kind of canvasy type of you know finish I suppose Chavi Paris up the top there and nice and white cushions on the inside okay just going to put that aside and here we have the piece in detail so guys this is the Charlie Paris Concordia automatic dive star watch or Chavi Paris depending on uh, your French I'm not a French speaker so let me know if I have butchered the name somewhat Okay, so this is, uh, the MSRP is 695 euros. So yes, it is on the sharper end of the so-called micro brand range. Uh, links to the website and product details down below if you're interested to check it out a little bit more. Uh, it does come in a number of different variants, including of course, a classic black dial, as well as the quartz versions, which are actually not a dive style. They have kind of a more plain bezel rather than the dive bezel of these models here. Uh, right, moving on to the movement first up then, as I usually do. Um, so in here is the 2824 ETA based Swissmate STP 1-11. I've actually featured a number of watches with this movements before and the specs are, as you can see down the left there, you guys know about this already, similar to Solita, but it does have a longer mainspring, so 44 hours is the rated power reserve. Accuracy rating is unknown, but this one is running very, very well. It's really dialed in very nicely at about plus one second per day in the two weeks I have had this running. The quick set date in this case is six o'clock position, white disc with black writing. So it's nice that they had to change out the disc for that date display. And I always uh, you know, appreciate the symmetry of a six o'clock date. Okay, moving on to the case then. So here is a 40 millimeter case, 316 L steel, of course, thickness 12.2 millimeters. So pleasingly not too thick. Uh, 20 millimeters is the lug width and a lug to lug distance between my thumbs there, uh, which is also fairly pleasing at 47.2 millimeters. So that would fit the wrist of most guys that I know. Overall weight, because it is on a strap, a fairly light strap, is only 87 grams, which means it's very easy to forget that this is on your wrist, very comfortable and light in, in, in my experience here, yet with a substantial case, you know, not to say that the case is not substantial. Finishing wise, okay, you have some knurling or grip on the bezel here. It's kind of polished, but because of that knurling, uh, you're gonna see a lot of that pattern there. 
the brushing at the top is circular and that is the same as the bottom of the lugs there right circular brushing at the bottom of the lugs it does have a nicely uh, transitioned polished side there uh, including a polished you know top bevel uh, of the of the lugs there hopefully you can appreciate that polished bevel there as well uh, the case back is solid screw down and as you can see there this is the antarctic expedition case back right that's really what uh, that is hearkening to which is uh, you know i think partly the inspiration for this watch uh, it has a nice conical shaped crown here right this is slightly conical with that colored strip there and it's signed so it's a screw down crown for a full-blooded water rating of 300 meters on this dive style watch Okay, so moving on to the dial here, what we have is a satin dark blue dial with printed details as well as that kind of vintage style chapter ring around the periphery. It's got 11 applied indices, of course not where the 6 o'clock date window is. Uh, the hands are polished, baton style, I want to say baton style, maybe not quite 100% baton, but it's got nice polished facets here, a rectangle pip for the loom on the seconds hand. Uh, and it's got super luminova on all three hands as well as the 11 applied indices unfortunately it doesn't actually have a bezel pip uh, loom a loom shot right here of course for you guys to see how this looks like in the dark right moving on then so around the dial is 120 click unidirectional dive style bezel it's got an aluminium insert in this case it's of course anodized blue there to match the dial and you can see it's got you know kind of minute markings 5 15 25 with kind of batons elsewhere and a triangle for the 12. let's listen to it now 5 10 okay so 120 clicks fairly nice you know it turns fairly easily but pretty positive in terms of hardly any black plate you know it turns around very easily i'm just going to put it back to the 12 there and it didn't take much effort at all. I like the feel of this bezel. Uh, the sapphire crystal on top of the dial is a three millimeter dome sapphire, right? Double dome because you're not getting a lot of the distortion here. So it's pretty nicely done. It does have internal anti-reflective coating on this sapphire crystal. Moving on to the straps then. So this is a canvas strap, okay? So uh, it, it, I guess they call it uh, nylon. Uh, it does feel like canvas, but the material ultimately I think they've stipulated is as nylon. Pretty nicely done, I must say, and quite comfortable, quite nicely, you know, stitched up here with quick release straps. And both straps I'm going to feature here show uh, just polished hardware, steel hardware here. Okay, so that's the description. Let's put it on the wrist for a wrist shot for you guys now. And there you go, the uh, Concordia automatic diver, the Shali Pauli Concordia automatic on my 17 centimeter wrist fits very nicely. Only 12.2 millimeter stick. Uh, and remember lug to lug distance of 47.2 fits, I think very nicely. Most guys that I know, this is how this blue strap goes, which goes nicely with this uh, blue dial watch. Okay, now I just want to show you uh, the quick release now. So, you know, with these quick releases, you really quite enjoy it. I, I really do like how you can change the look very easily to this, what they call uh, Mick Maron or Mick Leather. I don't really know where this, you know, wh whether this is a famous brand or not, but this is what they stipulated it as. And it's a pretty nice leather, I must say. Okay, so just gonna show it uh, how I'm doing this behind the camera. It's not the easiest way because, you know, I'm trying to keep my camera between my face and the watch, but even so, it's that easy to do. And you can see this leather, very supple, I must say. Stitch leather, this kind of like light brown, very nice, and somehow brown and blue usually goes quite nicely in my opinion. And this really is a nice alternative to this watch if you wish. Just gonna pop it on the wrist now for you guys. And there we have it, the Concordia Automatic on the Mick Brown leather strap. Pretty good looker, I must say. I really like the strap. This is a very, very nice alternative. It doesn't really suit a dive watch ultimately because this is a 300 meter capable watch. I wouldn't take this into water, but hey, if you wanna dress it up, very nice alternative. Okay, so 
Guys, that's the description. What do I like about this watch? What have I enjoyed? Well, look, I think this is a pleasantly designed, vintage inspired, capable all rounder, right? It really, you know, with the waterproof straps, you can take this everywhere with very good fit finish and in hand feel. I must say the finishing, the feel of the bezel, the feel of the cone, uh, or the, the conical crown, I should say, very nicely done. And it's got great details, right? So it's got a very legible dial, highly legible dark blue satin they've gone for. It's got pleasing uh, proportions, right? The hands, the indices, the bezel, right? This thin bezel really gives it a pretty refined look. I think overall, this is what attracted me to this watch and say, you know, give, gave them a yes to reviewing it. I like the crown. The crown's a little bit different with that conical shape. And, you know, overall, I have to say, an original design. You know, it's something that is not copying any other thing that I'm aware of. I always applaud that from a micro brand. And the package itself is, you know, competent, right? It's, you've got the Swiss made STP movement, sapphire crystal, full 300 meter water resistant rating, and a well done case, well done, you know, solid finishing on this case here, which I really like. The straps are quality. I really like that blue nylon, and I also like this very nice leather strap here. Any weaknesses? Well, the price, right? 695 euros is not the cheapest, right? You can get a lot for 695 euros. I guess this might mainly sell when they are on sale. Let me know if you own any Charlie Parry watches. I would like to hear what you chose and whether you got it on discount. Uh, the aluminum insert, right? On the bezel that probably leaves something to be desired you know not the least of which is because it doesn't have a loom pip really i expect the next step up would be giving us a ceramic with loom and you know they do give a bracelet option on the website but that looks quite basic that looks a bit chinese oem so that's why i kind of steered away from that one okay there you go guys that's my thoughts on uh, this watch let's flip it around now for the wrap up so there you go guys, my review of the Charlie Paris Concordia Automatic Dive Star Watch. Let me know what you think about this piece. Looking forward to hear your thoughts and discussion on this particular uh, dive piece. Especially let me know what you think about the price. You know, it is a, a watch that is made in France, so it's European made, but is that enough for it to command uh, the nearly 700 euro price tag? I suspect most people will likely feel that it should be procured at some form of discount. But, you know, let me know what you think below. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, do consider subscribing. New content every week, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me. And as always, I'll catch you guys again next time.